Hello and welcome to MyLegitReviews.com Today I have a little bit of an unusual thing. It's not exactly a review, though it partly is. I love natural peanut butter and this is just the brand I happen to have. Uh, it has nothing but salt in it, so it's pretty good for you. Just peanuts and salt. And uh, tastes really great. Nice and smooth or nice and crunchy, depending on which one you get. I have the crunchy. But what we're really going to talk about today is what everybody knows is a pain with this stuff is stirring it. We get a spoon or some kind of a knife or something and sit down at the chore and take 10, 20 minutes to get it really nice and stirred, especially when you get to the bottom. And you know, it has this big layer of oil on the top and that's what has to get stirred back in and that's really kind of a challenge. So what I have decided to do with mine is abandon the spoon knife method and instead use a hand mixer and it works pretty good but there are a couple of challenges now if you have a small jar this doesn't apply but for the big jar like this one you can see that it's not going to reach all the way to the bottom which is where the driest part is that you really want to mix the most so again small jar that's all right but this big jar it's a bit of a challenge and you can see it's kind of round on this particular dough hook with this mixer but I'll turn it on and show you how it works first thing I want to tell you though is you want to stick it in as deep as you think you should, almost all the way in first. And be sure you're holding on to the jar real strong. Otherwise the jar will turn and throw all the oil out. So I'll show you what it does here. Now that's working pretty okay. It's not doing too bad. It's really getting it mixed already. But another issue is it's kind of too fast. So I came up with a solution that I think works even better. Now not everybody's going to have this available to them, but for those of you that do, here is what I recommend. This works great. You can turn it as slow as you need to. And you can put on a big dough hook if you have like a big, bigger mixer. And check this out. It can reach all the way to the bottom. And since this one's square on the bottom, it can get into the corners real good. So here we go and you will be amazed. Now that to me looks like perfect peanut butter. Just a minute or so of effort and it is perfectly stirred up. So I'm going to have some peanut butter. Hope you enjoyed this video.